Hi, I'm Brian Newsbickle, author, illustrator for the St. Louis area, and welcome to Storytime. Uh, I have heard other author illustrators refer to themselves as illustrators or writestrators, maybe. I think that's what I am. I, I am an illustrator or a writestrator. I do both the words and the pictures, and I read stories. I've got several books out. A lot of my books have either uh, St. Louis themes to them, or they're just kind of set in St. Louis. And uh, today, of course, is no different. I'm going to be reading a book called Who Moved? My Gooey Butter Cake. Uh, real quickly, this book and this reading is brought to you by our friends at the Gateway Arch Park Foundation. Uh, Gateway Arch Park Foundation is an amazing nonprofit organization that uh, works toward beautifying the arch grounds, highlighting the great uh, features and aspects of the arch and the museum, and also downtown St. Louis. From everything from uh, family concerts in the arch grounds to giant uh, yoga classes taking place at Keener Plaza, the Gateway Arch Park Foundation is behind those fun things. So we appreciate their support and their help in this. Um, gooey butter cake. If you're from St. Louis, boy, you know what it is. And if you're like me, you'll love it. Uh, if you're watching this and you're not from St. Louis, let me tell you a little bit about this stuff. Gooey butter cake. Gooey butter cake, as legend has it, was uh, invented by accident back during the Great Depression. Uh, St. Louis has a lot of wonderful bakeries in town. You know, St. Louis has that really old German population, so ger great German bakeries. And there was a German bakery back during the Great Depression where the uh, baker was, was baking some cakes to sell. And for whatever reason, he got his ingredients a little mixed up. Had not happened to all of us. <laughs> I know it's happened to me. Uh, so he mixed up his ingredients, probably put in way too much powdered sugar, maybe too much butter. Uh, and whatever it was, uh, when he was baking a cake, it came out, well, looking like this. Yep, that's what gooey butter cake looks like. Uh, came out looking very different than what it was supposed to look like. Uh, it was the Great Depression. They had to sell it. So he threw some powdered sugar on top of it, set it out there. And I think you could predict the rest. Someone bought it, loved it, and it became a hot commodity. Gooey butter cake. Now, you can find gooey butter cake all over St. Louis. Like I say this book was just an excuse to eat tons of gooey butter cake and just call it book research. But uh, I never met a gooey butter cake I didn't like. And I've eaten plenty of it, including gooey butter cake baklava or baklava or however you want to pronounce it i had it in gooey butter cake form and let me tell you it was amazing that was uh, over at uh, layla's uh, restaurant in st louis and uh, actually right before this book came out uh, a good friend of mine the late great ann foy from webster groves bookshop in webster groves uh, made some gooey butter cake and she and I had a nice little gooey butter cake treat. Take a look at that. It's a picture of Anne and I enjoying some gooey butter cake that she made for me. This is kind of funny. Randomly enough, uh, my family, we had some gooey butter cake takeout a few days ago. We got some lemon gooey butter cake from Olive and Oak. And uh, this is my two daughters, Jenny and Carrie, eating that gooey butter cake. Here they are. Gooey butter cake. <laughs> They're such drama queens. All right. Well, let's get to the story. Who moved my gooey butter cake? I like to tell people that this is not a, it's a mystery. It's not a who done it. It's a goo done it about a little girl, her dog, and her missing gooey butter cake, and they go all over St. Louis looking for it. This is who moved my gooey butter cake. And this, of course, I dedicated to my mom who got us hooked on books and buttery desserts. Thanks, mom. Uh, who moved my gooey butter cake? My favorite treat is as cold as the sun with a sweet, creamy middle of butter spun. Mm.
You add a powdered sugar sprinkle after it bakes. And by the way, you probably notice behind this picture, a little artwork on the wall. Yeah, we blew up some of my artwork for uh, pictures in my daughter's rooms and things like that. Well, you add a powdered sugar sprinkle after it bakes and you've got a St. Louis gooey butter cake. Doesn't it look good? Oh, so good. Well, my mom baked one yesterday that had a beautiful glow. She saved me the last piece. Uh-uh. What? Where did it go? Uh-oh. Does it look like something's missing here? There's no cake. What do you see here instead? Yeah, crumbs. Oh, boy. Well, my mom baked one yesterday. They had a beautiful glow. I saved myself the last piece. Wait, where did it go? My cake was gone. My voice started to shake as I shouted, Who moved my gooey butter cake? I spied my dad watching the game on TV. Was that a crumb on his chin? No. It's Provel, you see. They weren't eating gooey butter cake. They were having St. Louis style pizza. Huh. Well, I cornered my brother. Had he eaten my snack? But he promised he was busy throwing washers out back. Now, a lot of you are not from St. Louis. You may be saying washers. What's that? Washers is a game kind of like horseshoes or maybe bean bags that you play in the backyard. Um, it's very popular here in St. Louis. So these are um, these are washers games that were uh, made by, I guess, by this family. And they're throwing washers into each of these games. And her brother says, hey, we were throwing washers. We didn't take your gooey butter cake. So I immediately filed a missing desserts report and left a detailed description as a last resort. This is a fun page because uh, they go down to the police station and of course she's describing to the sketch artist just what the gooey butter cake looked like. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how helpful that's gonna be. And of course this police officer here who's taking notes, he's uh, thinking, okay, what are we doing here guys? I don't know, anyway. So I immediately filed a missing desserts report and gave a detailed description as a last resort. But when, when the officer pointed us to the door and pointed us home, we knew we had to find our cake on our own. And what's the dog doing here? Right. He's uh, putting on his detective hat and getting his magnifying glass, isn't he? Yep. I'll search this city and do whatever it takes. As the arch is my witness, I'll find my gooey butter cake. And here they are, on again, on a uh, Ferris wheel. I say again because I did have this in a book we did last week, Cloudy with a Chance of Toasted Wrap. Here they are on a Ferris wheel that's on top of a building. Do you know where this is in St. Louis? Yep, City Museum. The City Museum has a Ferris wheel on top of a building. Pretty cool stuff. So... Our first stop was the Arch Grounds, where we received a hello. Had this park ranger seen our cake? She said, sorry, no. And actually, this park ranger, her nickname, I don't know if you can read that, is Chris. And that is, uh, this is because this is my mother-in-law, uh, Christine Scavato, who was actually a uh, park ranger way back in the day at the Gateway Arch. So I kind of drew that up as uh, my... Mother-in-law always helps to get in good, you know, with your, your in-laws. <laughs> anyway, uh, our first stop was the Arch Grounds where we received a hello. Had this park ranger seen our cake? She said, sorry, no. We stepped into a sea of red. Would we find our cake here? But all we saw was a sad Cubs fan saying, wait till next year. So when, did they really step into a sea of red? No, 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 no. Not an actual sea of red. A sea of maybe Redbird fans, right? These are all fans of the Cardinals celebrating. And of course, we have our um, unfortunate, uh, uh, my lovable loser here, uh, a Chicago Cubs fan, a little sad at the moment. So anyway, we're going to give him a hug and some gooey butter cake and he'll be doing better soon. So, but no gooey butter cake here. 
We hoped that city garden would end our gooey butter despair. We even peeked inside a giant carved head, but there was no cake there. No cake at city garden. And what about Union Station? Would it hold clues for us today? But all we heard were our own voices in the whispering archway. Now in Union Station, this really cool old train station uh, in downtown St. Louis, there is right by the entranceway when you walk inside something that is called the Whispering Archway. And it's basically a uh, an arch that you step inside of. So the wall arches to the ceiling and back over to the other side. And if you're standing on one side of the wall, you can whisper something and your friend standing on the other side of the wall can hear it. So can you tell what she's whispering? That's right. Gooey butter cake. And it looks like the dog heard her, but no gooey butter cake here, right? Yeah. Well, later that day, we had a ball playing bochi on the hill. We had tons of laughs, had toasted rav, but our cake was missing still. So toasted ravioli, yes. Gooey butter cake, no. No gooey butter cake on the hill right now. Where did her gooey butter cake go? You know? Now, well, let's see. Our search took us to Grant's farm where we had high hopes, but all we saw were lots and lots and lots of baby goats. Grant's Farm, we've talked about in some other readings. Love Grant's Farm, such a great place. You get a chance to feed the goats at Grant's Farm bottles of milk. And of course, those goats love the milk and they also love everything else about you. They might nibble a little bit on your shirt or, or snip up on your uh, socks or shoes. And uh, those goats are very, uh, shall we say, friendly. So the goats are going crazy, but there's no gooey butter cake. Well, let's see. We took to the water. And here they are at Forest Park talking to some ducks <laughs> with a sign that says, have you seen this cake? And uh, I don't think the ducks have. They look a little confused. So we took to the water. We took to the air. And here they are in the hot air balloon race. We took to the water. We took to the air. We even took to the railroad. Here they are at the Kirkwood train station. But no cake anywhere. And here they are in a place where there's the Hollywood. Or the, I'm sorry, not the Hollywood. The St. Louis. Uh, Hall of Fame walk with stars on the streets, and there's a Chuck Berry statue right there. Where where are they? They are in the Loop, the Del Mar Loop. So talking to the Chuck Berry statue, no, they're not finding anything. No cake anywhere. We tried to spread the word to ev everywhere we went, from the streets of Old Webster to the square of Lafayette. And they got a little uh, overzealous maybe with their gooey butter cake signs. They put a few on some people there too. Yeah, they're a little bit silly, but no gooey butter cake yet. Where could this gooey butter cake be? Let's check it out. From the south side, here they are at Cherokee Street, to the north side where the milkshakes are fantastic. It was as if our cake had flown away, like maybe a butterfly at the butterfly house, or disappeared like magic. Now, anyone know where they are here? Where's the place in St. Louis where you can go and touch that giant sphere and have your hair stand up? The magic house, that's right. So this was a fun picture for me to draw because not only do the girl's pigtails go up, but the dog's touching the, the big sphere here and his fur is standing up, his ears are standing up, his tail standing up, his legs standing up. All that different stuff is going on. This was a fun one for me to draw. But no gooey butter cake still. At the end of the day, we had run out of clues. We ended up in Soulard playing the gooey butter cake blues. Even though our cake, I'm sorry, even though we hadn't found the cake as we'd planned, 
our day in St. Louis was actually quite grand. Here they are in Grand Center, St. Louis. There's there's the Fox, there's KDHX, Jazz at the Bistro. They're having a great time. Lots of people coming out. Still, no delicious gooey butter cake. Well, when we finally returned home, my mom burst through the door. She said, I've been looking for you all day. You've got a surprise in store. No. She unveiled a tray that made me quiver and shake, a cold glass of milk, and my busy gooey butter cake. Yeah! And the dog, tears of joy here, very happy. The mom had it the whole time. She was just getting it ready for her to have as a snack. But because she was getting it ready, the little girl couldn't find it at the time. So there you go. Well, we savor each buttery bite as slowly as we could muster. Now, are they really on a cloud here? Well, maybe, or maybe I was just drawing it this way because have you ever had something so delicious that it feels like you're sitting on a cloud and things are just wonderful? So yeah, they're sitting on a cloud and I guess there's the arch underneath. So they're still in the St. Louis area, but uh, we savored each buttery bite as slowly as we could muster. Then I totally remembered I had some leftover frozen custard. Frozen custard? Yes, we love that in St. Louis. So frozen custard and gooey butter cake? <laughs> now that's the perfect St. Louis treat, right? So does anyone know who moved my St. Louis frozen custard concrete? What happened? Yep, she had her frozen custard concrete here in the freezer and now is it there it's gone oh no the dog of course is freaking out because he said we've been all all day looking for this gooey butter cake now we got to find the frozen custard oh wait oh the chuck berry statue has the frozen custard and he of course is saying Shh. but they already have a missing sign up right missing the frozen custard. And that is who moved my gooey butter cake. Now in the back of the book, I have a map on what I like to call the gooey butter trail. It is everywhere in St. Louis. They went looking for their gooey butter cake. Now, can anyone tell me uh, what this map is uh, drawn on top of? What What is the map made of? Yeah, the map is on a pan. Oh, gooey butter cake. Slightly obsessed with gooey butter cake, I must admit. Again, though, if you haven't had some, try it, and I think you might understand why. And that is who moved my gooey butter cake. Now, I wanted to tell you, in just a minute, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know how you can uh, get a recipe for gooey butter cake. It's actually my own personal recipe for gooey butter cake. Now, I've never met a gooey butter cake I didn't like, but I can tell you my recipe is a really good one. And in just a minute, I'll tell you how you can get that copy and uh, make gooey butter cake for yourself. Um, real quick, I want to share with you here. These are a collection of all my other books. Just want to show you real quick what we've got. Uh, all my books you can find on my website. Um, which is newsbicklebooks.com. Uh, and I'll have more information on that here in a second. This book was my newest one, Where the Easter Bunny Go to High School, all about a little girl who is obsessed with that St. Louis high school question. So she has to track down the Easter Bunny and find out where he went to high school. Uh, also, I've got the St. Louis 12 Days of Christmas because Christmas in St. Louis is too much fun just for one day. I mean, we've got... Uh, uh, five Provel pies, four Art Hill sledders, three penguins perching, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, it's all here in the St. Louis 12 Days of Christmas. Let's see, while we're talking about Christmas, here's the St. Louis Night Before Christmas. This was my first book. You get to find out where Santa went to high school in this book. His diploma is in the book. That's important information. Um, then here we have the funniest Halloween joke in St. Louis, as you probably know. 
Only St. Louis trick-or-treaters tell high school jokes. If you're watching this from somewhere outside St. Louis, in St. Louis, when we trick-or-treat, we say trick-or-treat, and then we have to tell a joke to earn our candy. No, seriously. And the funny thing is a lot of people in St. Louis, too, uh, don't believe, they can't believe that they're the only ones who do this. They think everyone does this. And, of course, only St. Louis kids tell Halloween jokes. Um, also, here's uh, My Pet Arch. My Pet Arch is all about what would you do if the arch followed you home. And uh, this is a fun book all about uh, the arch basically coming alive and you having a great fun day in St. Louis with the arch. We read this one uh, last week, Cloudy with a Chance of Toasted Rav, good stuff, 30 different kinds of food falling from the sky, including giant slingers that dump chili all over Cubs fans. It's going to make you feel good. Anyway, and then finally, this is a book that's not set in St. Louis, but one that I wrote and illustrated called Pete and the delete button. It's all about what would you do if you had a magical button that would allow you to delete any embarrassing memories you might have. How would your life be different? That is Pete and the delete button. Now, we're going to be doing more story time episodes. A great way for you to stay on top of that. I'm such a prop author here, but a great way to stay on top of that is to follow the Gateway Arch park um on social media you can follow them on facebook follow them on twitter follow them on instagram but you can follow gateway arch park also uh look for me ryan newspickle author on facebook i'm also on twitter and instagram but probably facebook is the easiest way particularly if we're doing like facebook lives or things like that so follow that one as well and speaking of ryan newspickle author if you go on this page and if you don't if, if you haven't already liked it like the page um, in the next 24 hours, I will be posting my gooey butter cake recipe. So you can print it off, try it at home. It's a really, really good one. Let me just tell you, one reason why it's so good is that it has two sticks of butter in it. Yeah, it has two of them, but that's why it's so good. So you will really enjoy it. And please let me hear from you if you make my gooey butter cake. Um, let me know how it came out. Send me a picture of it. I'll throw it up on uh, my Facebook page and uh, would love to see it. And remember, you know, gooey butter cake is a very helpful tool if, you're, if your blood sugar is dangerously low. Um, it's, uh, you know, it'll help get you back up to speed. So this was story time. Who moved my gooey butter cake? We're going to be doing more books with the Gateway Arch Park Foundation soon. So make sure you follow us and... Uh, I must tell you, again, this is Ryan Newsbickle, author, illustrator from St. Louis. We're signing off, but I wanted again to say, obviously, a big thank you uh, to you for your interest and your support. It's uh, beyond rewarding for someone like me to have people who are interested in the different things that we do creatively. And this, of course, is no different. So thank you. And I hope to be coming out with many, many more things that uh, will keep a... Uh, Keep a smile on your face. So thank you very much. Have a great day and we'll see you next time on Storytime.